Hi everyone, my name is Marie, and for my multimedia presentation, I'll be analyzing American War by Omar el Akkad. American War is a novel about the disastrous Second U.S. Civil War. Set post-climate crisis in the late 21st century, the novel gives a frightening glimpse into a very possible future. When the American government bans the use of fossil fuels, the Deep South forms its own state and declares war on the North, but soon favors the losing side. The story follows the life and transformation of Surat Chestnut, a young refugee from Louisiana. The CAD provides a compelling depiction of a plausible dystopian future of the U.S. by extrapolating the most significant issues that plague the country today. The climate crisis, the unequal distribution of resources, the propaganda prone government, and the unresolved social conflicts between northern and southern states. In Akkad's future, rising waters and violent storms have drowned cities and changed borders along the North American coastline. Currently, extreme storms are responsible for the loss of huge amounts of infrastructure in coastal U.S. cities. For example, Hurricane Katrina cost a total of $108 billion in property damage. Climate change is already damaging the coasts and wildlife of America. Akkad simply illustrates a possible progression of these effects in a way that is frighteningly easy to envision. Another deeply rooted problem that exists in the U.S. today is the unequal distribution of resources, which drives a wedge between social and geographical classes. Whereas the future southern U.S. appears to have more resources because of its access to fossil fuels, the riches are actually dwindling, all the while the North grows stronger with its use of renewable energy. This discrepancy parallels the growing gap between the rich and the poor in America today. Currently, there are places all over the U.S. that rely fully on charity for basic needs, such as Flint, Michigan. In American War, almost all the goods that the South possesses are donations, representing the vast economic chasm dividing the region. Akkad magnifies the issue of extreme poverty to bring to light the convincing image of the future. Similar to control through allocation of resources, the U.S. government controls citizens with misinformation. Since hatred is derived from fear of the unknown, it is easy to manipulate others by restricting their information about the enemy. The protagonist is taught from an early age to hate an enemy she does not know, so that, in her mind, northerners were of a different breed, a different species. Donald Trump regularly uses the same tactic of making immigrants seem like threatening, mysterious others in order to manipulate the viewpoint of American citizens. Conflicts caused by misinformation and heated by propaganda continue to fuel hatred in modern-day politics. Akkad illustrates how this deception could look in the case of a second civil war. America's first civil war lasted from 1861 till 1865. Akkad uses the real-world stressors illustrated before to inflame pre-existing prejudices between North and South, with the addition of fossil fuel scarcity as a trigger for war. Though it could be argued that there is no longer such a drastic separation between the Northern and Southern states today, there was still a visible divide in the support of the two primary American political parties, i.e. red versus blue states. A factor that seems to stick in the real-world Southern mindset is their connection to history, as can be seen by the support of conservative ideals today. Akkad says in an interview that the Southerners, who are on the losing end of the war, are obsessed with the past. Though Akkad is referring to the novel here, this statement could be equally applied to American realities, like its civil war or the more current conflict between Republicans and Democrats. America's actual past is the reason this fiction is such a compelling prediction. In conclusion, American War is a unique idea about a possible future that feels grimly accurate. Akkad's writing is compelling because it builds on existing issues in the U.S. using examples of current conflicts as a template for a fictional narrative. The conflicts comprise the ever-worsening climate crisis, the inequality of assets, the untrustworthy authorities, and the simmering resentment between northern and southern states. The current global situation leaves all but the most willfully ignorant reader wondering, what if Omar al-Akkad is right?